Hi there, artists. Okay, so this week we are going to do a quick demo. Um, it's not going to be a very long one, but if you are interested in painting um, your clay, either it's either a bowl or it's a plate or a sort of a emblem. Um, so for mine, you can see it has all of these details, which when you have it with this um, clay that is... Um, you know, like mine is uh, very dark. I don't see the details as much as I'd like, and that's the thing that the paint will kind of emphasize or bring out. Now, some of you, and I, you know, I really appreciate that you sent me some photos of your work so far. Some of you might just like it the way that it is. Like um, a couple of students baked baked their clay, which I thought was neat. I didn't even do that for myself. I just let it dry. Um, and the areas that have um, the pressings turned out really nicely on those. So if you have it the way that it is and you don't necessarily want to do paint on there, that's okay. It's completely up to you. Now for mine though, I definitely want to paint. So um, for the paint, there's a couple different types of paint I'm going to show you here. Here's my watercolors. And then here I just put a little bit of acrylic that's white. Now the thing about the watercolor paints is that they'll, they'll be very washy and the nice thing about that is that they'll kind of go into the cracks of where all these um, patterns and lines are. The acrylic is a very heavy paint and it will cover things up. So I'm going to actually lighten up some areas in here first because as you can see the um, food coloring that I used made everything pretty dark. And I sort of wanted it to be a little bit lighter than that, but even when it dried, it got um, a bit dark. So I'm gonna put um, some weight on it first, let that dry, and it actually will dry very fast because um, the clay kind of soaks everything up. And then I'll put some watercolor on top. So I'll show you both of those techniques. So as you can see here, I am uh, using the acrylic. So I'm using the white and I'm watering it down quite a bit. Uh, just because I would like it to, the thing about the acrylic, and I said this already, but I'll say it again, is that it's so thick that it covers up everything and you don't actually get to see kind of these details. So if you water it down a little bit, you're going to still get um, some of these lines to show up and you can see that it gets kind of dark in the areas that are raised and lighter in the areas that are um, imprinted so it's kind of like when you make a print the same kind of thing happens the things that are high up um, are usually a different shade than the things that are lower down so I'm going to keep working on that a little bit and then I'll come back in a second to show you how it looks okay so here is um, a very fair thin layer of acrylic on the back side of my bowl and now I, so, I was just thinking that for a lot of you um, white isn't necessarily going to be the right color because you may have just lighter clay than my, than mine, but for some of you it might work. Um, so if you do do a different color, you'd still want to do the same technique and you definitely want to try for contrast. So contrast just means either it's a light against a dark color like I've done here, or it's two opposite colors. So the opposite colors being yellow and violet green and red and orange and blue and the thing about opposite colors I'm not saying that you necessarily have to use those colors but if you use contrast in your painting that makes everything sort of stand out more so lights against darks and then opposite colors on the color wheel make for more um, of an interesting contrast so you can try some of those out and see how you like them so like I said the next thing I'm going to do is try some of this acrylic in here uh, sorry I didn't mean that I meant watercolor and you'll see that it really behaves a bit differently. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of red. And just put, and you can see it's much washier and my acrylic is still a little bit wet, but. Um, so the watercolor, I'll bring this up so you can see it better. The watercolor, which is different from the acrylic, um, actually just kind of creates a, um, almost like a tint. On top of things it doesn't really set into the um, the incised sections or the sections that are pressed in quite as much but you can see like especially with that penny you see a lot of um, more contrast between the letters now and the shapes 
So I'm going to go ahead and sort of do a bunch of different colors on this uh, side of it. And then, um, you know, the neat thing about this is that you have two sides. So if you want to do, like if you did a bowl, I'm definitely going to paint the inside because I'm not super excited about that. It looks kind of boring compared to the back. Um, and I'm probably going to just have it sit like this. But if you have a platter, you know, or a bowl, you can paint the other side any way you want. And for that side, um, because you want it to be dark and kind of stay in place, um, you know, the watercolors work, but the acrylics actually have uh, a little bit more weight to them. So you can try both of them out and see what you think. Okay, I'm going to paint the rest of this and come back. All right, so here it's become very interesting to me that this side, getting this side very dark with purples and reds and then this side light. Uh, and then you can really see some of these details now that the um, paint has started to, like the acrylic paint has started to dry and set into those sh different shapes. One other thing you can do is um, let the entire thing dry because it will change uh, the way that this looks. So you can let the whole thing dry and then go back in and do some of those details. Um, so just have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed this project. I think a lot of you did. It was nice to see everybody's and please remember send me photos. I love to post them into our shared photo album. Okay, everybody, I will talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye.